Um, okay, uh, <laughs> welcome. We will, we will keep it relatively brief. Um, it, also on the, on the merchandise aspect, um, Kenny noted that there are also terrific socks here in the gift shop at <laughs> National Archives with the Bill of Rights on them. So um, Library of Congress uh, is, uh, is, is uh, now in competition with the National Archive for your sock dollar. Um, thanks so much to everyone. I know, I'm, as usual, I am now losing my voice. So we will keep it very short and, and then get out into the rest of this beautiful day here in Washington, DC. Um, I just want to say a, a big thanks to everyone for coming to DC and joining us for the fest. Um, it's been an amazing uh, two days and three for some who came to the pre-conference day. Um, shout out to the Whig folks, that's fantastic. Um, Tom and, and others. Um, we've got, uh, we mentioned our Instagram account. If you check out the DPLA Fest hashtag on Instagram, there are lots of wonderful photos up there. Did anyone take the DPLA Fest Instagram challenge or succeed in it? Yes. Oh. Not quite there. But. Not quite there. Okay. If you need a selfie with a DPLA staff member, you can get it right after this session is over. Okay, great. Um, so, uh, wonderful sessions. Um, I, I particularly want to thank 170 presenters. That really struck me. Um, it's really wonderful. Yeah, thanks to all the presenters. And as I mentioned at the start, I, I was just so impressed by the diversity of the sessions. Um, I mean, just here on the screen, we had a session on community archiving and the, the people's archives that was got a lot of wonderful tweets um, out of, I want to thank the panelists there. We had a wonderful panelist, uh, panel on authors in a digital age um, with some fascinating questions from the crowd. Um, so many others. Uh, I was in a copyright uh, 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 session that was, it was so packed, people were out into the hallway and then into the hallway of the hallway over at the Library of Congress. Um, and I've seen so many wonderful sessions over these last few days. So um, thanks so much to all the presenters for, for making the extra effort to uh, communicate your knowledge um, and your passion to uh, the rest of the attendees. I want to um, also thank our uh, three hosts again from the, from the bottom of my heart and from everyone uh, in the community um, Library of Congress, National Archives, the Smithsonian have been fantastic hosts. I, I keep hearing from people who said how special it was to have the fest in these three organizations. And I want to particularly single out um, the staff of these three organizations. I, I thank the three Davids, and I will thank them again here. But I want to thank a bunch of non-Davids um, who really made it happen uh, within the staffs of these organizations. The Library of Congress, and people can, should feel free to stand up and get clapped at here. Um, uh, Mary Eno, Abby Potter, Joe Puccio, and many others, um, thank you so much for your work at the Library of Congress here at the National Archives. Pam Wright, um, I hope some of these folks are here. Uh, Mary King, yes. <laughs> Quinn Brewster and Aaron Bellotti, also here at the uh, National Archives. Thank you so much. And at the Smithsonian, um, Aaron Rushing, Claudia Edge, if they're here, thank you. Um, and Martin um, uh, uh, Kelvadovic, uh, who could not be here because he's in London for, unfortunately, we had this horrible concurrence of the 10th anniversary of uh, the launch of the Biodiversity Heritage Library. And so he is in London um, with some other Smithsonian folks. So I'm sorry that we missed him. Um, for those who know Martin, he has participated actually since we were in this very room exactly five years ago for the first plenary. Uh, Martin was there talking about the Smithsonian Digital Collections uh, up on the screen. So it's great to also be back in this room after five years. Um, thanks again to the staffs. Um, I also want to thank once again our three sponsors, Digital Library Federation for uh, funding travel uh, for some members, Text Help, and Digital Transitions. I hope everyone uh, took um, part and, and checked out their tables outside. Um, also, I want to thank our funders again, again, without whom we could not all be here and, and doing the project that we're doing. Um, thanks so much to all of our funders. We had a wonderful dinner last night uh, that was, uh, again, a great, a great deal of fun and also um, a way for that community to connect together. All right, give it up for my staff. Um, let's, come on. Mark Madienzo, Director of Technology. Oh. I'm going to, Scott, Tom, Samantha, Mark, Kenny, Rachel, 
Where's Emily? Over here, come on. Frankie in the back. Audrey in the back. If I missed anyone, thank you. I'm taking them out to dinner uh, shortly um, and really appreciate it. I'm going to ask one staff member to stand back up. Mr. Kenny Whitebloom, czar of DPLA Fest. I mean, Kenny, uh, he put this all together, and you know, he's a one-man band, and uh, I know he got lots of help from our three organizations, but to put something together with 450 people and 170 presenters, he worked uh, really hard, so thank you, Kenny. Um, so um, I want to thank you again uh, for coming. Um, it is a chance now for you to go out into the wild and to return to your missions at each of your individual institutions. But I think what we've all felt over the p this past couple of days is um, you know, that feeling of what we can do together and that community spirit that DPLA, I hope, embodies nationally and internationally. It was wonderful to have visitors from Europeana and elsewhere uh, join us. And so let's keep the spirit going together and build even greater things for next year. I hope to see you all at DPLA Fest 2017 place to be determined. If you are interested in determining that place, <laughs> come get me or Kenny. Uh, we will have uh, that up soon. Um, so if you're interested in hosting DPLA Fest, uh, it's a great way to highlight your cultural heritage institutions. Uh, and one of the things, um, again, that I think everyone is telling us is that they really want to have it here at a place like the National Archives or the Library of Congress or the Smithsonian. They do not want to have it at the airport Marriott. Um, which I frequently stay in, and I like the airport Marriott, but um, this is a great place and embodies, again, the spirit of what we were doing together. So thanks very much. Uh, thanks for attending, and uh, we will see you all next year, but I'm sure before that as well. Take care.